What's up, y'all? Big Red 3, Ted is here again. <coughs> uh, yeah, I got some very, 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 I got a lot of negative feedback on my No Way Out review, and I'm here to rant about it. But before I do that, those who have been following me on Skype and seeing, yeah, because I don't have Twitter, because I'm, I'm not good enough for Twitter, and seeing my Skype status, no, I spent pretty much every single penny I have, no joke, every single penny. I told you guys I was broke on Black Friday. Over Christmas, I acquired a lot of money. And then I'm broke, and now I'm broke again. Because I went shopping on eBay, which is always a mistake. I'll tell you guys the shit I got for how much I got it. I got a lot of crap. Alright. This will be very quick. Expect the unexpected. $5. Great deal. I know it's still in stock, but $5? Come on. Epic Encounter. I know Sanders paid a lot of money for this. I hate to rub it in Sanders, but... $10. The conclusion, very rare show, very hard to find, and cost a pretty penny. And I'll openly admit it, $30. Made of in spectacles, $19.99. Is there a disc in it? Oh, okay. $19.99, pretty good deal. Generation Next, although the guy gave me the wrong disc, which I just complained to him about, but Generation Next, kind of hard to find, kind of a pretty penny, 25 bucks. Midnight Express Reunion. Another good show, another very hard to find, 25 bucks. Death for Sonic 2 Part 1, I know it's in stock, but I got it very, very cheap, 6 bucks. Night of the Grudges 2, sealed. The guy wanted $100 for this, I gave him 29 I know it's not a very good show, but I really want to see the soccer rights match, I want to see James Gibson defend the ROH title, and I want to see Joe and Daniels in the main event. Can't explain it, and plus it's sealed. I just really wanted to have the show, Night of the Grudges 2. The Homecoming, $24. Summer Punk. Punk the Final Chapter. $14. I did get Escape from New York yesterday for $13, but it's not in yet. Buffalo Stampede. 6 bucks. I know it's in stock. Hell Freezes Over. I know it's in stock. 6 bucks. And finally, The Almighty. The Extremely Expensive. The Thing That Officially Made Me Bankrupt. $45. But it's possibly the rarest ROH DVD of all time. I know it's tribute. Yes, Sanders, I got it for, I won't say it, but 45 bucks. Not a tribute. I also, you know, bought a lot of shoots at ROH Wrestling. These were really cheap. All these cost me like 10 bucks on a special sale. I forgot which sale it was. They were all really cheap. Uh, Secrets of the Ring Without Snow. I've already seen this. I'll review it later. Straight Shooting the Series with Jim Cornette, uh, with Jim Mitchell. I've already seen it. It's awesome. I'll review it later. Straight Shooting with Adrian Styles, Christopher Daniels. Already saw it. Great. I've not seen the race. I'm in the middle of seeing this. Straight shooting with Jim Cornette and Bill Watts, part one. Straight shooting with Jim Cornette and Bill Watts, part two. Straight shooting with Jim Cornette and J.J. Dillon. This I got on eBay. Because it came with an order, an, an order of mine. And I'm not done, unfortunately. I'm just putting some of this shit away. It's not shit. It's very rare, very cool to have DVDs. Comment below on the DVDs I mentioned, if any of them are any good. I'd really appreciate it. Oh, also, all you old ECW fans, comment on these two. This one, you don't have to comment. I know it's a great show. I got these. These are very cheap. This cost me $1. Heat Wave 98, the VHS. $1, ladies and gentlemen. And I got both of these for 5 bucks. Um, Living, uh, Living Dangerously 2000. Anyone, all DCW fans, please comment on these. I'd really appreciate it. And Hardcore Heaven 2000. Hardcore Heaven 2000. Living Danger 2000. Heat Wave. I'm not going to pull it out again. I'll just say it. Expect the Unexpected. The Epic Counter. The Conclusion. Made of Spectacles. Generation Next. Min Midnight Express Reunion. Death Before Death Sonic 2 Part 1. Night of the Grudges 2. The Homecoming. The Summer of Punk. I mean, the... Punk the final chapter, Escape from New York, I don't have it yet, but I didn't win it. Buffalo Stampede, Hell Freeze is over, a night of tribute. I also did get ROH Gold for like 20 bucks, but that won't come in for a while. And all the straight shooting series. Oh, oh and I also got, which I pro probably want to review. No, maybe I'll review it tonight if I have time. Chikara, a touch of class. I told you guys I would immediately get the show. Yeah, I'm pretty much broke. I did order five, did order Final Battle, Reverse the Curse, Night of the Grudges, and Round Rum Tonch 2, but besides that... Okay, wow, half the video doing a DVD update. Alright, let me just do this really quickly. I got a lot of crap for 
saying that No Way Out, I thought was a really, really, really enjoyable. I won't say really enjoyable. I thought it was a really enjoyable show. Let me tell you this. I saw No Way Out. That was random. I saw No Way Out with my family and with my brother who had come home from college. And he had not seen wrestling in a while. So we all sat back. We saw the pay-per-view. I wasn't on my computer, as you guys know. I ordered the pay-per-view. Well, I'll admit, I didn't order it. My older brother did because he wanted to see it. But still, <laughs> that's, that's not the point. <laughs> so we all saw it. We all had a great time watching it. Yes, were some of the shows bad? Yes, my little brother fell asleep while watching Drew McIntyre Kane. And then my, one, of my, uh, one of my brother's friends falls asleep during Miz MVP and says, I don't care about this match. Wake me up for the next Elimination Chamber. But we had a good time watching. We re I really enjoyed uh, both chambers. I mean, I thought the first. I think the first is a little underrated. I think the second is amazing. And I think if some people are not giving it enough credit. I thought the match was really, 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 really great. In my opinion, it's like one. It's a, it's a top five chamber in my opinion, just for the booking, how it set up some WrestleMania matches. By that I mean, take by that I mean Edge Jericho in a way. You know, you know Edge wasn't really involved. Taker Michaels and Punk Ray. Everything about everyone got to shine except for Hard Truth. Punk cut the straight edge promo. Everything was just fit perfectly. And I really love that main event. I really like the opener too. I mean, I didn't like how Cena was only in the match for a good eight minutes and he acted like he was dead. And he didn't really do that much in the match. I don't like I didn't I hated the beginning with Sheamus and Kofi. I did not like that at all. Whenever Kofi would do a nice spot, Sheamus would botch it. And the ending was not so great either. So yeah, that's why it only got three and three quarters for me, but I really enjoyed the show. I had a lot of fun watching the show. I come on here, and everyone agrees with me. Literally, everyone I see, everyone who's made a video, who I am subscribed to, has given this pay-per-view like a 7.75 or higher. But, a certain group of people, who saw the pay-per-view together, really did not like the pay-per-view. Well, they didn't like it, they called it lame. Lame. And they thought it should have set up Mania better, all this. I thought the pay-per-view was enjoyable. Because you guys saw you know, together as a group. So usually in calls like that. And I've been in those calls on a pay-per-view. Only one, but still. <laughs> Whenever the littlest thing happens, someone points it out. Then another one points it out. Then another one complains about this. Another one complains about that. And then it leads to a little more of a negative reaction to the match. I'm not going to try to criticize Honor Hammer here. We saw that amazing Dragon Gate Tag Team match at the last pay-per-view. What was it called? Freedom Fight? think so. At, at that pay-per-view, it was amazing. And the first words that came out of Honor Harris' response at the end was, oh my god, why did Dragon Kid lose? That's so stupid. He has a title match next month. Don't mean to call you out or anything. And I know, you already told me, but that was right at the end of the match. Of course, that's going to be my immediate reaction. After a match like that, my immediate reaction was, whoa, <laughs> wow. And then I'm like, okay, you know, Dragon Kid losing, maybe that wasn't so great. But there was a, a common negative perception for the show. And I, I thought it was kind of unjust. Environment... The way, the situations in which you watch the shows, you have a lot more fun watching the shows. Whether you're in a call and you're pointing out the negative critiques. You know, I've been in the chats. The chats, like, you, you would think oh, it's a collective group of people who would point out the flaws. Yeah, but we still have fun. You know, we mark out together. We enjoy the shows. You know, we like the, the wrestling to it. Some of us convince the others when, when the rating is wrong. You know, the, every situation you watch the pay-per-view affects... Your perception toward it, 100%. Now, I don't mean to criticize these people. They've seen pay-per-views that they've given very, 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 very good ratings. Example being off the top of my head, Turning Point. Was that the last one? Shit, that yeah, was. That's besides the point, though. I really thought that as long as you enjoyed the pay-per-view, you enjoyed the flow of the pay-per-view, you're going to say, oh, how could you enjoy a pay-per-view like that? I don't know. Look, I'll tell you why. Because McIntyre came. That match wasn't really bad. It was just boring shit. And I didn't find it boring. Was it botchy? Not really. I, I don't remember anything. Was it... Did it make sense? Was it Was it a logical ending? Or Sinister X referee thumps Kane in the eye, gives him his finisher, gets a nice win over Kane? Kind of does. What's there to hate about the match? Besides, it was boring as holy of shit. And McIntyre is just not a good wrestler, in my opinion. <laughs> but I... Personally, didn't find it as boring as other people did. You know, I was kind of into the match for the most part because I really get bored during wrestling matches. I've told you guys this before. I've trained myself to... to. Sorry, I had to sneeze there. Uh, I trained myself to get into the matches like that, so I didn't find the match bad at all. Does that mean I don't know what I'm talking about? Does that mean I could not have possibly enjoyed the show? No. Ms. MVP, was it too long? Yes. But did I still enjoy it? Yes. Did I think it was the best... I thought it was a perfect match because it balanced out the other crap 
in McIntyre Kane in the Divas match, which was god awful. But that that was short. I mean, that wasn't really bad. It wasn't that botchy. It was a good three minutes. How could I hate that match so much? Even though I gave it a bad rating, and I really didn't thought that it could, our time could have been better spent. Miz MVP. I, I kind of enjoyed the match. I gave it three stars. I really liked it. I liked the opener. I liked the main event. How could I hate a show like that? I gave it an eight because I enjoyed it. It was a fun show to watch for me. Was it because most likely because the environment I saw it in. Maybe so, but how come a lot of people, a lot of people, not people who comment, people who've actually made videos on the subject, have said they really did enjoy the pay per view. They probably saw it in good environments as well. I don't know what to say. I'm not trying to call these people out here because I definitely do not want to do that because they have a tendency to write a comment and then some moron actually responds to the comment and then do 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 Don't want that. But anyways, yeah, that's all I have to say. Big Red 10 new DVDs. You don't let people put you down. If you enjoyed the show, you enjoyed the show. And I think that's all that matters. It's wrestling. I'm out. See you.